Suicide among veterans is a growing concern, and today vets gathered in Eaton Rapids to address the problem. And it is our top story today at 5. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. Thank you for your service is something you might often say to a military veteran, but asking, how are you, might not cross your mind. And that's why dozens of veterans came together today to talk about the harm that prescription medication can do. Our Zach Priest looked into the battle that veterans fight after their service. Thanks. Veterans from all branches of the military sometimes struggle mentally during and after service. And what's also troubling is that some veterans say that the medication they're prescribed to improve their condition can actually sometimes make them worse. Today, the Grunt Style Foundation hosted the first ever Veteran Harm Reduction Summit in Eaton Rapids, exploring the relationship between prescription drugs and veteran suicide. I can't see the Tim Jensen, the president of the Grunt Style Foundation, said the medication he was put on after serving made him feel like a zombie and led to a downhill spiral. Joshua Parrish, a veteran who suffered to the point of near suicide while on prescribed medications after his time in the service, says the transition from military to civilian life can be tough. In the military, they teach you to rub dirt on it, uh, drive on, don't ask for help. But then when you're out of the military and you go back to civilian life, they want you to ask for help. So when you ask for that help, and if you don't get that help, you just kind of stop asking. According to Parrish, in order to defeat these issues, whether brought on by medications or other reasons, veterans must lean on each other. I hear veterans all the time say, I got out of the military 10 years ago, and I never even tried to find other veterans in the community. And then when they come to our events, they leave with smiling faces, and then they've connected with other veterans, and they say, man, I wish I would have done this 10 years ago when I got out of the military. Parrish considered suicide multiple times, but he knows his battle was worth it because now he's there for his family. Knowing at some point in my life that I almost wasn't going to be here again, I have four children, my youngest is three years old, and he looks at dad as I'm like his Superman. And to those who find themselves struggling now as he used to, he says there is hope in the big picture. And Parrish reminded others that one bad day or even a bad year doesn't mean it's a bad life.